No, but meanwhile, I got to do something here real quick because there's something else that's on my not, on my mind that I have to take care of before anything else. Now I had this is that gun case that I put together. You guys seen this? I'm sure. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me put my sweaty afango. Yeah, I do have a little Italian in me. I'm sure it's my DNA anyway. That's not going to stay there. Okay. I'm sure you guys seen this gun case that I did. Um, the interior part became a nightmare after a while. This stuff here started just getting, it was just starting to get out of control. So what I had done was I had a lot of latex foam laying around. So I had recut the whole thing down here for, for latex. And then I cut a pocket in it. And then I didn't want to take a chance of the latex, um, you know, screwing up or getting in or on the guns. So uh, I had put this camouflage material on it. And that's basically where we're at. Now, where I'm having an issue here is I bought this FN. This is the FN9. I bought this one, I don't know, four or five months ago, maybe. This is the 9, isn't it? Yeah, the 509. For a minute, I was wondering about it. And it came with two magazines. Well, here's the magazine that I had in it. I cannot, for the life of me, find the other mag. And I was wondering if I had stuck it in here by chance. But uh, I see that I have not. I bought the Browning, uh, not the Browning, the Beretta uh, APX 40 the other day, which you guys seen. So, uh, see these are FN magazines, but these are not this FN, you know, because I've got one, two, three, four, five FNs in here. <clears throat> some of the magazines are interchangeable, some of them aren't, believe it or not. Um, but at that point, uh, I can't find that other mag. And I don't know where the hell I put it. It's probably with that other computer someplace. <laughs> so, uh, so that's kind of where I'm at. Now these are what? These, I believe, are. I forgot what these are. Now these are high caps. So these are. Oh, these are the Storm. Okay, that's the Beretta Storm. It sure is. Forty cal. Uh, so that's what that is. This is the Beretta magazine, not the Beretta, the FN magazine for the 509. Uh, this one is for the, which one is this over here? This is probably a, uh, who the hell knows, FN. Oh, this is the FN X9. Because I also have the FNS9, which is striker flare. Which I actually like because it does have a safety on it. Yes, I like the safety. I don't like tons of them, but I like one safety. I gotta open that up a little bit. Uh, so this goes to that one. As these other ones do. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at. I thought I might have had it in here by chance, but apparently I don't. There's the 45, there's the 57, there's the FPX, uh, the FN X9, this is the FN S9. Ah, this is the SIG P226, that's the 92F, this is the Storm, the Beretta 40 cal, 
and now this one is the FN uh, FN 509. So I have room for three more. Um, actually, I have another one in the house that I'm going to put in here. So I have room for two more. This is the case that I use when I'm giving classes. Uh, I like to kind of keep things somewhat organized so that I know exactly where and what I have. I like that in any of my firearms. Uh, anything I do, I try to keep it <laughs> in an organized manner, but when it comes to firearms, uh, it's, a, it's a must. You know, that's all there is to it. All right, let me slide that back so I don't have to worry about ruining it or having it drop on the floor. Not that it'll cause any problems to this, but it'll put a hole in the floor, because that's heavy. So, 